Some South Korean hospitals turned away patients seeking emergency help on Wednesday amid the doctor's walkout. Up to a half of the scheduled surgeries at five major hospitals have been cancelled, and many emergency rooms are now overcrowded, according to local media. Prime Minister Han duk su visited a patient at the National Police Hospital in Seoul and checked on emergency medical responses. He has ordered emergency measures such as the use of telemedicine, more operations at public hospitals, and the opening up of military clinics. The protests were prompted by a government plan to admit more students to medical schools. Almost 8,000 trainee doctors have walked off the job since the protests began this week, and more are expected to join them. The government condemned the walkout, threatening to arrest the protest leaders. Trainees doctors say the government needs to address pay and working conditions first before recruiting more students. Ju Su Ho is from the Korean Medical Association. Problems that have already reached a critical point exploded all at once due to the wrong medical system, and that caused doctors in essential medical care to abandon their positions and move to non-benefit departments, so-called non-essential medical care. Meanwhile, the government thinks the lack of doctors in essential care is because of fewer doctors. However, authorities say more staff are needed to increase health care services in remote areas and meet the growing demands of the aging population. A recent Gallup Korea poll showed over three-quarters of South Koreans backed the plan for more medical students. Some analysts say the number of doctors does not reflect the quality of health care, adding that access to medical care in the country is some of the best in the world.